Now, this is breaking news from WCCO. Good evening. We do begin with breaking news. The Minneapolis police chief has just resigned in the wake of a police shooting. Janae Harto became the city's first female and openly gay chief nearly five years ago, but her leadership has come under fire this week following a shooting that she herself said should not have happened. In a statement tonight, Harto said, I've decided I am willing to step aside to let a fresh set of leadership eyes see what more can be done for the MPD to be the very best it can be. Harto's resignation comes at the mayor's request. It came uh, six days after a police officer shot and killed 40 year old Justine Damon. She had called 911, thinking she may have overheard a rape on Saturday night in her neighborhood. Officer Mohammed Noor declined to speak to investigators about what happened. His partner said they did hear a loud sound right before their squad, uh, uh, near their squad car, right before the shooting. Officer Matthew Harity's attorney suggested they may have feared an ambush. Now, WCCO's Jennifer Mayerly has been following this story all day, including a city council meeting that kind of alluded to perhaps this happening uh, tonight uh, from this morning. And I know the the mayor has released a statement and also. Uh, the former police chief at this point, Jennifer. Yes, and Liz and Frank, here's what we know. Mayor Betsy Hodges asked for Janae Harto for her resignation during an afternoon meeting. Harto agreed to step aside to make a way for new leadership. Hodges said in a statement, as far as we have come, I've lost confidence in the chief's ability to lead us further. And from the many conversations I've had with people around our city, especially this week, it is clear that she has lost the confidence of the people of Minneapolis as well. For us to continue to transform policing and community trust in policing, we need new leadership at MPD. And again, um, that is what she said this afternoon. The mayor also said that she thanked the chief for her 30 years of service of serving the people of Minneapolis. Now, Harto was on vacation in Colorado when one of her officers shot and killed Justine Damon. And I'm told Harto alerted city council yesterday that she would be going back out of town tomorrow, out of the country through the end of the month. This is some of what led up to today's resignation. Five days after the shooting, Harto was back in town. She spoke with Justine's fiance, Don, and publicly said the yoga instructor and spiritual leader should not have died. Questions swirled about why she didn't come back to Minneapolis sooner after the shooting. And this morning, city council members spoke about the need for fundamental change at the police department and a change in leadership. They talked about the need for more oversight of the department, saying, we literally have more oversight of potholes than we do our own police. The shooting happened in city council member Lene Palis Palmasano's ward. She told me that she heard from hundreds of constituents who are upset over how Harto handled the shooting. She said the chief has yet to reach out to her, and this morning she told me she could no longer support her. This morning she also called for uh, new leadership with the Minneapolis Police Department. Now we have learned that tonight at 8 o'clock, Mayor Betsy Hodges will address the media and will speak publicly for the first time since asking for now former Minneapolis Police Chief Janae Harto's resignation. Again, we are going to hear now from uh, City Council Member uh, Lene Palmasano, Palmasano's and what she had to say about uh, no longer supporting the chief. I needed them to, take, to stand up and take responsibility. I don't expect our police chief to always be here every time, every hour of every day, but I do need them to come and explain why maybe they were out of pocket. Um, I need them to, to give a compassionate response. I mostly need them to reach out themselves directly um, to people who have been most affected by a tragedy like this. Again, breaking news, uh, Janae Harto has tendered her resignation as the chief of police in Minneapolis. Mayor Betsy Hodges accepted that resi resignation today. The two met this afternoon saying that new leadership needs to happen in Minneapolis. Mayor Betsy Hodges will speak with the media tonight at 8 o'clock addressing uh, this latest breaking development as uh, Chief Janae Harto now steps down as the chief of police in Minneapolis. Well, we'll have to ask, too, tonight, was it uh, the series of events leading up to this? Was it some of the conflicts they've had before? Was it the vacation issue? Was it just this one incident? You know, the issues go pretty deep, I think, with these two. There have been uh, a, a long uh, history of the two uh, 
butting heads, if you will, right. on some issues. But again, uh, the calls really began this week after the shooting death of Justine Damon. And, uh, and in the chief's absence, I know there was many calls, not just from city council members, but from community members that we heard from this week saying, where is the chief when there an incident like this is happening in the city when she is uh, over the police department? Again, this all leads up to today when uh, Janae Harto tendered her resignation to the mayor. Yeah, we've been reporting here for months about different uh, situations happening in the city, uh, including the shooting death of Jamar Clark. The Department of Justice came out and, in fact, saying that the two need to do a better job communicating mm -hmm. with one another. And also, uh, more recently, Jen, the appointment of the uh, fourth precinct inspector that led to a pretty public back and forth uh, between the chief and the mayor that played out uh, in the newspaper as well. Yeah. It did. Jen, are you attending the 8 o'clock news conference? We will have a okay. crew there at 8 o'clock, heading there shortly. Great. All right. Thank you.